Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome to an awesome new adventure map for Minecraft version 1.8.2. This is Planetary Confinement, and believe it or not, there are no mods involved whatsoever with this map. Creator Samosaurus 6 used tons of new 1.8 features combined with a custom 3D resource pack to create something really amazing. So let's start our first quest. We crash landed on this alien planet. And in order to survive, we're going to have to explore. But first things first, we're going to put on our spacesuit so that we can actually breathe out there on this new world. And we're going to see a lot of new stuff in this map. We can craft new blocks and items using this futuristic crafting module right here. We're going to encounter remixed mobs that are a lot tougher than their vanilla counterparts and very different. So those are going to be exciting. And night should be coming pretty soon here. And we're just going to see a lot of stuff that could not have been done in earlier versions of the game. So here's our second quest. It automatically popped up in our inventory. We need to open the airlock, and luckily we have enough oxygen. So let's go explore this barren planet. Here we go. Ah, some awesome effects there. Got some particles. The block slowly moved down. Okay, so these are the remains of our ship. I don't think we're getting off this place anytime soon. So we got to survive. Now, our crafting module, to make all that new stuff, we have to fix this, and it's clogged with debris. We're also missing a key card, so let's look around here, see if we can find the key card. I think it is over. Yeah, there we go. I played a little bit of this to test it out, and look, the armor stand allows you to make stuff lay down on the ground, which is pretty cool. Just make some invisible stands. All right, and oh, I want to check these out too, because there's something really cool in these chests. We have a redstone rifle is our new way of uh, fighting, and we got these little shards that are kind of like lasers. And watch, actually, when we move around, it bobs like a, uh, a gun and like a shooter or something. And then, this is my favorite part, the sound effect. Nice. Very, <laughs> very fulfilling there to shoot a little laser arrow, a laro. All right. And what else we got? We got steak and some water. Water is actually very important. If you look on the right, I have two new stats, hydration and temperature. So we have to keep cool, but we also need to drink water to make the map a little bit tougher on this alien world. So let's clean this out. I think our fourth quest was just to restore function to the crafting module. we got to clean out the debris, and also we're going to get our crafting guide. Now this is very important. It will show us how to craft all this new stuff. So if you go in here, there is a little guide on how to craft. You just hover over, and look, some of this is normal stuff, like oak planks, but we also have new things, like zinc ore. Over here we've got a barrel we can make, an oak sieve, an uh, obsidian turret, lots of really cool stuff that we're going to get to eventually. Some of this is awesome looking, because they all have custom models that they're using. All right, so let's check out our next quest here. We need to get some wood, so we're going to use the dirt that we got out of there and a sapling to start planting. So it's kind of starting out like a vanilla Minecraft world, and I'm going to take the decorative plant from near my captain's chair. I guess I don't really need it for display. We're going to need this to survive, so I'm going to plant it over here using that dirt. We have to use what we can to survive on this unforgiving planet. There we go, and we got some bone meal, so hopefully I can get this to grow. There we are. Now he's got to get some wood off of this. So yeah, it's kind of like a remix of trying to play a normal vanilla world, except you have all this new stuff you can craft. It kind of makes it like starting out again or, f or fresh with mods, but we're not using any mods. Remember, this is all vanilla, so it's a lot easier to get into. All you have to do is pop the map in your saves folder. All right, so what's our next quest? We need to get nine saplings and mash them up into a new substance, mashed saplings. And then we can uh, get some water out of it. I did grab that fluid extractor. So yeah, we're trying to kind of survive by getting water and basic things so far. But we're going to get into some of the, the new crafting stuff pretty soon here. We're already going to craft some new things, but eventually we're going to get that like turret and different stuff to help defend us. Because as I mentioned, it is getting dark and the sun is starting to go down somewhere here. And that means we're going to have a lot of monsters on our ship. And we don't have any doors to block zombies and things like that out, so we've got <laughs> to be extra careful. I'm going to try to uh, get these saplings real quick. Okay, so unfortunately I grew one of the dreaded giant oak trees, so that took a while to chop down and ate up a bunch of my daylight. But we're alright, we got tons of saplings and wood now, but we need to drink some water. We're running out of hydration a little bit. There we go, and I'm going to eat an apple as well. That should boost up my hydration. You can see my temperature is going down as well because we're back in the ship. Okay, so let's craft this. We need nine of these saplings to make this mash sapling, and we're also going to place down our fluid extractor. This is how we're going to get our new bucket of water. There we go, and then I think we said we just stand by it with our bucket, and we should... There we go, we got it. All right, and we also got a bit of water as a reward, so I'm going to try to stock up on this stuff. 
What is our next quest? Barrels! <laughs> so we can't drink water straight from the bucket. We need to make a barrel. And those are pretty easy to make. I just need to take my planks that I can get here easily. So when you craft stuff, you want to put it in one at a time because it, it's not a normal crafting table. It actually absorbs everything that's there once you put in the right stuff. So if you have any extra, it's going to get absorbed. So yeah, craft stuff one at a time in this map. And there's our barrel. And we're going to put this down somewhere here. This, we can put it right next to that chest. It's pretty much like a cauldron, I believe. And then now that we have this bucket, we're going to place it in there. There we go. And we can fill up our empty bottles with some water. There we are. Now we have plenty of water. I've got some extra steak. What's our next quest here? A length of string. So we need to make a sieve. These things are really cool, but we need cobwebs and we have to make a bone crook. And to make a bone crook, we need bones, but that's not going to be a problem pretty soon here. Drop some water. The sun is going down, which means we're going to have some monsters here to fight and to get those bones. So before monsters start spawning everywhere, I wanted to check out this house off in the distance. If you see, there's like some little settlement that I haven't checked out. I saw that right when I started the map up, because if you look out of the uh, the pilot seat, you can see it here. Oh, geez. Okay, <laughs> monsters. As I mentioned, this, this planet is barren, but it means there's tons of places for monsters to spawn. And there's a skeleton. I want to try to kill some of these guys. Here we go. It's so much more satisfying for some reason to use the laser gun than the bow. As much as I love the bow in normal Minecraft, the laser gun just has that sound effect that makes it really cool. And I like that it bobs up and down as you move around. All right, we got plenty of ammo. I just gotta be careful here because there's monsters all over the place and we don't have very good armor. We're basically wearing the equivalent of leather armor. Oh, uh, let's run from that spider. I really need to eat this steak. I'm gonna go hide in this house for a minute until the monsters start bothering me. Oh, jeez. okay. Well, I have to hide in here, so I can't choose, but <laughs> normally you don't want to hang out with the head of a dead villager. Oh, I can steal these, actually. This blood is redstone, <laughs> and we don't have uh, we don't have any water bottles, but if I drink a bunch of this, we're just going to take this guy's water. He doesn't need it anymore. He's dead, and his head's lying on the ground. All right, a little morbid, but that's okay. All right, now we got all this extra water. Thank you very much. We look pretty cool in our spacesuit here. <laughs> and uh, I got, how many, I need four bones. So I'm gonna try to kill some more skeletons. I'm looking out for that spider. I saw a spider somewhere. Hey, there's some potatoes. I'm gonna take that. And I might as well steal this guy's dirt so we can do some planning here. Here we go, let's get this guy. This might be a friend of the, uh, the villager that we just saw that got decapitated. That's a little morbid, but this is an unforgiving world! Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Got another zombie sneaking up on us. There's so much stuff everywhere, but we need to kill some uh, skeletons. I heard the spiders are very different and are a lot faster in this. Oh, we actually laid down web! That was crazy. Can I break this to get some string or something? It's breaking very slowly. That's why we actually need that bone crook, because it will help us break web and get the string we need, because we're going to need to make some cobweb to make that oak sieve. And that's one of the coolest items that I've seen in this so far. I got a little glimpse of that. It's really awesome. It has like its own little animation and stuff. I want to fight skeletons. There's too many zombies in this map. They're all over the place. <laughs> okay, let's try to just get away from them until we can kill some skeletons here. I need a few more bones. Oh, jeez. Skeletons with laser guns look really funny too. This is only the first part of this adventure, so it's supposed to have more parts in the future. And it would be cool to have the skeletons like redesigned as you know, more futuristic monsters. Like, a lot of these are very similar to the normal vanilla monsters in terms of looks, but it keeps it mi Minecraft feely. Maybe this is just another planet that is very similar to Minecraftia, and uh, it just has some more futuristic technology for the uh, skeletons and zombies to use. This gunpowder is actually very useful in this as well, because I think you can use it to make more of these bullets, the little redstone bullets. I'm going to drink this real quick, or eat this. Oh, the skeletons are fighting each other. Thank you. Monster infighting. I need to actually use their fighting to, as a distraction to try to get some bones. There we go. How many bones? We got four. All right, that's enough. Let's get back to the ship. It's very dangerous out here. We don't want to be out here too long. I'm trying to see which monster is like the least dangerous to run by, because these spiders are really fast. They're faster than usual. The zombies will follow you forever, the skeletons can hit you at range, and the creepers will just blow up everything. So yeah, look how fast these spiders are. He's already catching up to me. I don't think I can outrun this guy. Oh, he's not going too fast, but we also got a baby zombie. It's like a little foot race. All right, let's go hide in the safety of the ship and try to make that bone sieve. Oh, what? 
Oh no, a space rift. Ah, it's dropping endermites. Oh my gosh. I've never seen this before, but this is dangerous. Okay. Uh, I heard there were a bunch of things like meteor showers and crazy stuff like this. Uh, oh no, 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 no. Gotta get these endermites out of here or else they're gonna kill us. Okay, that was close. Wow, that was like a random event. That was really exciting though. Okay, so we, f we uh, managed to survive the space rift. And we just gotta defend ourselves through the rest of the night. I wanna make this, uh, this bone crook real quick. Ah, oh, the baby zombie caught up to us. Get out of here, little guy. Sorry. So even the, the flesh, actually, the rotten flesh, you can use to make some food. You just gotta uh, combine it with some certain material. So, like, everything is useful in this. You don't wanna lose anything. Oh no, they're all over me. And there's an armored zombie. If we die here, I'm gonna be in trouble. Oh no. This is bad, this is bad, this is very, very bad. Get these guys out of here. <laughs> Trying to use all my ammo. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat. Man, our ship is just overrun. I really wish I could close. Can I close the airlock? Let me see. Oh, I just pushed that, and now my gun is looking weird. Nope, it doesn't look like we can close the airlock again, unfortunately, so we gotta deal with these guys. I'm gonna try to quickly make this bone crook. I think it's like this, there we go. So we can use that to harvest cobwebs. Also, it's a melee weapon, I believe. So I can kind of use it here. Oh no, I have slowness. Why do I have slowness? Oh no, how did that happen? Oh, I'm in the chair. I'm in the chair. <laughs> you don't want to be in chairs when you're fighting stuff. Hey, get out of here. Oh no, we're in very, very big trouble. What if I jump on top of the ship and hide up here somewhere? Maybe that'll help me. Give me some more time to see them coming after me at least. Okay, yep, we're in very big trouble here. The endermites, that skeleton, so much stuff. Uh, <laughs> I cannot hide from all this stuff. It's just everywhere. They're all trying to kill me. That rift was really not good. It made it very tough for me to uh, to survive here. Okay, hide. One more shot from this skeleton might do us in. Okay, we're, we're okay. Just, <laughs> just barely hanging on here. Do I have more food? I have some potatoes. I don't really have anything that I can eat that will heal me very much. I'm just gonna have this potato and uh, that's not enough. We gotta eat something. I'm gonna resort to eating this flesh because we can't turn it into an edible version yet. Uh, we got <laughs> we got food poisoning. Man, this is pretty rough. These these nights are unforgiving on this planet. So I need to. I want to try to get that cobweb. How much string do we have? We need more string. Okay, as soon as I heal here enough, then uh, we're gonna go back out. But yeah, man, my my spacesuit's taking a hit. We've got a lot of problems going on. It is not easy out here for a spaceman. <laughs> Okay, just very slowly. I need to wait till my hunger thing is cured, or else it's gonna, gonna just keep depleting my saturation. Okay, don't want that. Don't want none of that. I'm trying to sneak to the front of the ship so we can get these cobwebs, because that is our mission. It's around here somewhere. There's a creeper. Try to get this guy out of here. I think we have good vantage point on top of the ship. The only problem was the skeletons could, uh, could get us there. Uh, we need to kill more spiders if we're gonna get enough web to make that sieve, so I'm gonna try... Oh, that creeper dropped some seeds! That's cool, so now we can actually plant some wheat. I should try to do that soon. So there's a lot of stuff, like I mentioned, this is an adventure map because we have quests, but it actually is more of a survival map in a lot of ways too, because you gotta do a lot of like building your own stuff. Like I, I already have a lot of stuff I need to get done. Like I should start planting a farm so I can have some sustainable food. We need to collect a bunch of stuff. Like we have so many missions going on at the same time. There's a lot to worry about. But it's been pretty fun so far. Hopefully you guys want to try this out. I'm going to keep doing a series on this, and hopefully we can beat it as well. There's a whole series of quests and different things to explore. I'm going to try to fight my way through the end of this night, and hopefully no more space rifts or meteor storms will pop up. Try to kill some guys along the way, and if we can survive this night, maybe we'll be okay. I don't know. I need to get this cobweb quickly. Go, go, go. And don't let the creeper get to me. Don't let the creeper get to me. The sun's coming up. We are so close to salvation. We just need to stay alive a little longer. Go, go, go. Are we... Oh, we're out of ammo. Oh, no. This is the worst. Oh, jeez. We are so close. We just gotta... Let's hide in the ship, and hopefully we'll survive another day. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time for some more planetary confinement. Goodbye. <laughs>